Hello, Kavir, you're going to answer who reviews. They review Yugo 7's episode 29. And David Yuga and his friends wake up to the third day of their uh, training camp. Uh, turns out the, the cabin or the house they're in is over a cliff. Yeah. Um, you could have an idea to see how uh, deep the cliff is, it's, uh, the, like the drop to the cliff is. The drone hides on it. And man, it's a long way down. As the drone hides on it, back uh, to where he was very fast against rocket engines or something. <laughs> I don't know. And, uh, Rook just reveals there's something worse going on. Says there are food! And uh, turns out there is no food because uh, Rook has to edit, edit the previous night at dinner. And uh, saying that Roman is angry is an understatement. Oh boy! Anyway, uh, they try to call Sebastian to get him out, but they don't have cell service. But you can have the idea that since uh, Kaizo can fly, he might be able to get to Sebastian. Uh, at first, Kaizo is against it, but yeah, I got it new. The uh, uh, Rome's gonna use her cuteness to get the Kaizo. <laughs> it's actually since he thinks it's for a good get girlfriend or something. I don't know. And turns out Sebastian had been massaging the the manager of the camp the whole time. And he and Kaizo just get into an argument. Uh, I don't know what with this episode. Um, anyway, uh, Gato uh, points out that uh, his uh, friends on the student council, the vice president and the secretary, should be coming over so they might be able to save them. But um, it turns out that the two don't. Like, I just think that cause that a bit strange. I'm thinking hey, Yuga is uh, about his own. But it turns out that the secretary of the student council, uh, Ramsey, 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 I don't know, might have some feelings for Yuga. He even says that the uh, uh, observant diary on him. I just point out a lot of stuff as he's trying to uh, deny. I thought you feeling for him, for, for, for Yuga. Ugh, it's kind of funny. Anyway, uh, they end up spotting this construction uh, crew, and I'm kind of like that uh, Rengzi's uh, brother is uh, saying stuff about the 6th elementary uh, school, but uh, Rengzi is thinking that he found out about her having feelings for, for Yuga. I don't know. I mean, Randy actually falls off and the everyday there sees uh, what's doing. And I'm sure the guy in charge, even though it looks like an adult, is actually a part of the 6th elementary school the machine cavity club. I don't know what word is. Yeah, I don't know what's with this job. And it's some people that either look like kids, but actually older, or are kids, but look older. Ugh, I don't know. Anyway, eventually, uh, the guy in charge, or just uh, the uh, some, someone from the uh, secondary school uh, club, uh, Tanzi, Tanzi's, I don't know his name, can't remember his name. Uh, challenges uh, to do a, a rust duel 
and you just put online that if they win, they get to go past and say, well, no, what happened to you and that, but if they lose, they have to join the machine, the machine club. And Ramsey's all forward, especially thinking that probably Yuga probably is in trouble. And it seems like he's gonna win. But uh, yeah, I kinda expect her to lose that he does and to a force to join now, but the guys in the that made out, yes, he welcomes them with open arms and said they had a good duel. And for some reason, he acted like a veteran. He even says he had the same that the, the girl observed the Goha has gongle metal. I don't know. Um, yes, he saves uh, you and that when uh, Rooks is very, and the party are very hungry as well. And he just pretends to be nice. And even when Gato asks about uh, the people in Soon Council, pretend, the guy pretends he doesn't uh, know what he's talking about. Hmm. Oh, yeah, and during the duel, the guy actually uh, said what the club's uh, business statement is apparently it's to find the uh, the great the uh, dueling uh, traditions. I'm guessing that means the uh, extra deck uh, some some of the methods like fusion, synchro, XC, so on. Because they haven't really shown up anytime in a uh, the show, yep, so, so I'm guessing that in this world that God doesn't let uh, anybody use the extract methods or maybe they, uh, they, they uh, just forgot about them or something, don't know, or the extract methods are just a, le a legendary sort of thing. And after uh, uh, Kaizo and uh, Sebastian I don't fight and they have to get along. Um, these three people actually show up behind them. I guess there are more members of the 6th elementary school uh, machine club. But, I don't know. Well, I think this episode is okay. I do feel kind of upset for the twins losing since they're forced to join a club that they probably don't like and probably to leave the student council. Uh, they say like the sixth elementary school is a bit of a, a rich person school, but I don't know if the school rivalry is just the only thing that's gonna be uh, addressed in this arc. I don't just wonder if they have a, a connection with the oldest and the the, the the school club since the last two arcs. So uh, Roa. Was uh, had a connection with Otis and Neil had a connection with Otis, so you know. Well, yeah, I heard that uh, Asana's Asana, yeah, Asana's uh, Ace Monster's gonna be a dragon, so probably cool, but not like I don't think any of the rooks trying to look cool, but usually a rival the Ace Monster or Ace said Monster that's a dragon. Is usually very cool. And, uh, awesome. Um, yeah, I thought that next week or next time, I don't know, it's gonna take a break next week or what. You uh, and friends will be putting it into a trap and gonna enter some, uh, I think, a band competition or. Whatever, I don't know, I can't even remember. But hopefully it's good. I mean, yeah, I'm still. See you guys. Later.